I'm back. Good morning. I'm going to take the hood down because it looks a little bit colder than it is. You probably worked out. This video is about the closing parties. Or probably lack of closing parties because I can't be bothered going to them. But we are going to go to some closing parties. The up and coming ones. DC10 was yesterday. Hyannis Y have already closed. Pasha is still the close. And Amnesia is closing this week. Coming. How you all been doing? I'm sorry that I haven't been making as many videos as uh, I normally do. Um, I just kind of lost my way a little bit and fell out of love with it. And here we are in the beautiful highest point of Ibiza for sunrise. And uh, yeah, just look at the shots. It's incredible. I'm up here on my own. There's nobody else here. Got up and zero plans of coming here. I really wanted to make a video about the closing parties and it was like 6 a.m. I looked at the clock, checked the time, sunrise, jumped in the car. Rather than walking up and doing the hike like I normally do, I drove here. So, the problem with me and the Ibiza Club world at the moment is... So yeah, the problem is, I've just uh, broke the leg of my camera or one of the legs which is a great start to the morning i did look at another camera stand this morning so maybe that's karma and look at that wow absolutely spectacular anyway yeah getting back to the point is i've been doing this for 14 years going to the clubs going to the festival -y type clubs and etc etc it just gets a bit um, repetitive. Uh, I know obviously you guys do like that content, but as always, I like to show the other side to Ibiza. Uh, I like to show the real side to Ibiza. I like to show the nature, the sunrises, the sunsets. Oh my God, <laughs> it's just getting better. Hopefully you can see that justifies it on the camera. I do have two different cameras with me. Um, as I said, I am the only one up here. Um, and we're gonna drive back down. It is very dangerous driving up here. Um, do add approach with caution if you're not used to driving probably don't come up here um, you can go to the bottom of the town in San Josep and hike up and it's a beautiful hike I've done it many times just google the highest point uh, or sorry YouTube the highest point Ibiza doing muffin and you'll find about three or four videos and uh, we'll make ourselves go back down have a coffee in there get to it Give you a little idea when I said like you're you're on a west you're on a little uh, 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 uh. I don't want to go down there do you you do not want to go down there no way Antonio, it was nice to get up there. Um, incredible sunrise, not the best sunrise because of the clouds, but it was still beautiful. It's nice to start your day. I am back in San Antonio now and I'm going to pop to my mate's restaurant, which is Mundo Street Food. He shuts this Wednesday, so on the off chance that you've watched this video and you're here in the next couple of days, do pop in. I do recommend it. I have quite a strict diet at the moment, so I'm kind of sticking to animal based products purely based on my skin. Uh, it's working for me amazingly, and yeah, I have never felt so good. Um, so I'm going to go get steak and eggs at Mundo Street Food before I want to show you this look how beautiful today is the weather is turned out to be incredible there's not a cloud in the sky there was some clouds over that way apologize for the dirty windows but there's nowhere to park in San Antonio for free anymore um, and the limit is like two hours so you can only park in the dusty car park which is next to Cafe Mambo as known as the wasteland um, and the car gets ruined straight away but look at this as you can see there's a few people swimming there it looks lush might even join them but yeah let's go to Mundo street food and then get something to eat and I'm going to continue with this uh, vlog as I said it was called the Ibiza closing parties but it's not quite
So that was Mondo Incredible. Did you see those eggs? Unbelievable food. Always a place I go, as I said, it does close on Saturday for the summer. Um, I've just come over to Ibiza town to check out what is uh, going on. Take back what I said about the weather. It is spicy hot today. Car park is full. I've got to grab a few bits in Ibiza town, so we'll go in there and see what's going on. So there's quite a nice vibe around the Beatha town today, as you will have seen from the shots there. It's quite busy. There is a couple of big cruise ships in further over in the distance, so don't be fooled by that because that's probably the reason why it is busy. I noticed everybody had an Italian accent, so it's probably one of the cruise ships coming in from that side of the world. Um, I had to pop in and get some accessories for my GoPro uh, because as you know, the stick broke earlier. So I went to this shop, oh, this little shop here. Woman's really lovely in there, I've been going there for years. Um, I'm not gonna hang around too long because in the next vlog, uh, we're coming back to Ibiza town later today. Um, I think we're gonna watch the football, so that'll be in the next vlog. And uh, the lads wanna go and do a bit of shopping, so maybe get the best of both worlds in, the, in a vlog. What will we do now? Who knows? I suppose I should get back to talking about the closing parties. Um, DC10 did close last night. I had a couple of plans today to make videos with uh, various people. Unfortunately, they went to DC10, so that was cancelled. That's kind of the, the reason why I never get much done because you can't really rely on people. I've always mentioned that uh, you can't rely on businesses either because if they're not busy, they don't want to shoot videos. It can be quite difficult when it's hit and miss. I'm sweating. talk closing parties and what better place to talk about it here on a very quiet uh, sunset strip as you see the cafe mambo is still open that opens until the 21st of october so if you are coming you can enjoy a drink down there as well as mint um cafe de mar did recently just close um over at O beach here in san antonio they remain open until the 15th of october and on friday it is music on's big closing at pasha and um, music on is already sold out it's been sold out all season Pash is a smaller venue for that i don't know if that's the right fit will they move next year because it has been sold out every single friday um sunday on the 15th is the solomon closing party sorry i'm just rhyming these all off my head but the big one you really want to know about is amnesia on the 14th huge lineup i'm not going to rhyme off the djs because there's that many of them and i can't think of them at the top of my head but if i was going to any closing party personally it would be amnesia closing party as i mentioned before in the vlog um ashwaya and hai recently had their closing parties last week the vortex it was huge it was massive it was sold out as well dc10 was sold out both well sorry they were sold out on monday and then they'd done another party on tuesday which is unheard of um, so yeah, that's where we're at. There's just me and a couple of seagulls here. It does go very quiet, very fast. Obviously there will be people around in the evening. Um, but, well, I mean the sunset strip's never that busy in the daytime. Um, what next? Yeah, if you haven't already subscribed and you're new to the vlogs, I apologize for luring you in with the title, but I had already made the thumbnail before I decided not going to the, the, the clubs. So I want to stick it up there anyway and call it the closing party vlog. Um, do subscribe to the channel, like I said. If you are on Instagram, do hit me uh, a follow. Um, that would be amazing because I will be making a bit more short format um, content. And apart from that, I will be back soon. I've got my mojo back. I've got the car, the weather's good. So yeah, I'll probably start to explore the rest of the island, even though it is a bit quiet and I will promise you a lot more interviews talk to the real people it's just getting them down sat down and um, arranging it really 
so guys over and out thank you for watching um this video is just a bit show you about see what's happening and uh, i'll see you soon